Lucy Barnard, Features Editor for Estates Gazette. And I'm here at the brand spanking new Virtus Data Centre in Enfield. And rumour has it, there's a very special guest inside. So I'm here with star of the silver screen, Michael Kane. So Michael Kane, um, and um, why are you here opening a data centre in Enfield? Uh, I, I'm here for two reasons, uh, nepotism and curiosity. Nepotism, because the man here who's the boss of it is called Michael Hall, and he's my son-in-law. <laughs> and the other reason is, he's been talking about this venture of his for three years now, and I'm very, very curious to see it. Okay, and it's a tier three data centre. <laughs> tier three and um, What does that mean? Uh, the, the tierings. Exactly. <laughs> I, I was wondering that. Yes. The, uh, the tierings are, are effectively, it's, if you think of it like uh, the star system within uh, hotels, uh, this is the equivalent of a uh, uh, a four star a four star uh, in the hotel context. Have you let any of it yet? We've left fifty percent of the space. So we we we're the only speculative uh, data centre developers in England. Uh, no one else has managed to pull together a speculative scheme in the way that we managed to on on, on this occasion. And we uh, took it to market building two data halls speculatively, two data halls are like two office suites for example, and during the course of the construction we've let one of them and we have uh, an advanced pipeline of another 12 or so tenants. This is our first site, we believe that we will have this filled by the end of next year and we're in the process of acquiring our second two sites which are currently in lawyers hands at the moment. And where are they going to be? Uh, they're in West London. Just on a slightly more general point, um, but I was looking to see that um, one of your most recent films, Harry Brown, yeah. um, we're talking about you're talking a lot about regeneration. It was shot in the Haygate estate. That's right, yeah. And um, obviously that's where you that, grew but up. But that's as been well. pulled down. That, yeah. that's, that's down now, which is a great thing. Yeah, and Welcome. that's being redeveloped. Yeah. Uh, well, the, moment. the whole of the Elephant Castle has been turned into an enormous. Uh, uh, Enormously different place. So it's obviously a sort of key thing for young people, but it's it's got to be property developers like yourselves who are going to be regenerating it. Yeah, I mean, the thing about it is, is what you've got to do is give give private enterprise a chance to do something, and not try and do it all yourself. It, it doesn't work. We had a thing called communism, which did that, and it, it's not very good. <laughs> Do you know, uh, uh, when, when I first met Michael, he said, you know, if I, if I hadn't gone into the film business, I would have liked to have gone into the property business. So whenever I put a scheme together, he's always been interested in what we're doing. Yeah. And he's uh, owned, owned a lot of property himself, still does, uh, has been a, uh, a very uh, uh, successful property person in his own right. Uh, interestingly, the Haygate estate, <coughs> we're doing a, a, a very similar scheme to that, not of the same scale of course, in East London close to, close to the Olympic site and uh, my father-in-law uh, walked around that site with me oh, uh, yeah. years ago and uh, he's made the point that you know in these underperforming areas where you've got a lot of uh, problems which have occurred because of poor uh, urban planning that uh, you know this sort of scale of regeneration scheme does a lot to improve the area and, uh, and change people's lives within it. But with, with youngsters as well, we think of you know, juvenile delinquents, you know, send them all to jail. The first thing you've got to give them is a chance, and the minimum chance they should have, which very often doesn't happen in council houses, and because I've known them very well, I come from them, uh, um, is that you must have enough room for at least four people to sit round a table and have dinner, yeah. or supper, or lunch, I don't care, have, put it this way, a meal so that you can, you can talk to each other, otherwise you've screwed the family. 